is Christopher Wong. I've been with uh, WWF Malaysia for almost 10 years now. So since I was much younger, I love the wild and I love animals. Malayan tiger is one of the smallest subspecies of tiger, which can only be found in the uh, Malay Peninsula. It is uh, solitary and territorial, except only when it's uh, mating and when it's bearing offsprings. Belum Temenggur landscape is known to be one of the highest density of tigers in the country. So it's thought to be about 130 million years old, one of the oldest landscape um, in the world. A surveying Belum Temenggur forest complex is WWF Malaysia's current project. The purpose of this survey is to re-establish the tiger population in both areas which were studied back in 2009 to 2011. And the data that we obtained will be contributed towards the first National Tiger Survey of Peninsular Malaysia. Because of the dense vegetation in our rainforest, which the visibility is just so low, it's so difficult to see a tiger. Over 10 years that I've worked in the forest, I've never seen a tiger. We use camera trap technology to help us in our work, to photograph the tigers, to study them. My team consists of six people, and we averagely spent around um, one to two weeks in the forest, traveling as far as a few tens of kilometers every single trip. Some of the challenges we need to go through in the field are like crossing deep rivers, climbing up steep mountains, and also we still have to um, deal with the mosquitoes and the leeches in the forest that constantly draw our blood. To increase the chances of possibility of capturing tigers in the forest, location needs to be uh, chosen with care. So signs like punk marks are used to guide us in setting up the camera traps. Camera trap is a device where it, it is built with a motion and heat sensor. So when an animal like a tiger passes by in front of the camera trap in the detection zone, it will self-activate to capture a photo of the animal. In every single location, two camera traps will be set up on each side of the trail to photograph both flanks of the tigers. Over the years surveying Belum Temenggo Forest Complex, we collected more than 40,000 photographs of wild animals. They include large mammals like elephants, sun bear, Malayan tapir, and there are also animals which are smaller in sizes, but equally interesting. Out of the 40,000 photographs of wild animals, it's only about 3 to 4% of them are of the tigers. Once in the office, this is when the work on identifying the tiger starts. So the photographs are used to differentiate the tigers from their stripes. Just like our fingerprints, every stripes of the tigers are different. So this is how we can tell if we have captured the same animal at two different times. Back in the 1950s, we had 3,000 wild tigers, and then it comes down to 500 in early 2000. In 2014, it was estimated to be around 250 to 340. Because of the numbers, Malayan tigers are classified as critically endangered. Currently, the National Tiger Survey is ongoing, which will give a better estimation of the status of tigers in the country. But if the trend still persists, we might not even see a wild tiger anymore. We can't give up hope just yet. Cubs are still being photographed. There are still um, a lot of females in the forest as well. So they can still repopulate and increase the number of tigers in the forest.
There's still a lot of things that can be done, but it has to be now.